show you the way, dude. show is about to start. The ultimate Hinamoto Fighting Championship begins now! <laughs> Episode 4, The Ultimate Martial Arts Tournament begins! No weight classes, no rules, no mercy! My name is Peachon, and I will be your MC for this death match. And here's Al. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Hey yo! Al's here to provide commentary. She calls herself Fuji's daughter. How mysterious! Al lends us her assistance at the last minute. I can't wait to see Dad be. Hmm, violence! And now I present the prize for the winner of this tournament! Prize? Oh, but I don't want to be a prize! Somebody help me! Behold, a fugitive on the run and a suspect in the Udo Castle case! The winner will be awarded Miss Perilica! <laughs> How fun! That's the girl that was with Dad. Why do people want to capture you? Because they pinned your crime on me. Thank you very much, Miss Perilica. Now, as you are both a prize and a competitor, please return to the green room. We have 9,999 participants in the heats. You must all compete in a battle royale for a spot in the final round. Only those who are successful will find themselves among the finalists. Please, slaughter to your heart's content! You can do it, Dad! That sure is a lot of participants. I can smell the gunpowder all the way from here. <laughs> hey, Fuji! Are you really gonna be all right? There are a lot of demons here. The small fry don't matter. What I'm worried about is whether or not there are any seven founding weapons wielders around. I can't quite explain it, but I can sense a strong soul. Like again, and his demonic gun, and you. <laughs> I don't know about that sense of yours, but I'll believe you for now. I'm gonna start off by getting rid of the dead weight. I'll fight too! No one's getting their hands on me! Let's make some money! You're not getting away! Sorry! I'll take your cash and your life! You're not getting away. You're not getting away. You're not getting away. Sorry. You're not getting away. I'll take your cash and your life. I'll take your cash and your life.
It's a pain in the ass to pick out the infernal treasure wielders one by one. That's why we're holding this tournament. We're using you as bait to get people to sign up. I'm sure you'll draw in a huge crowd as the first place prize. Me? A prize? Wait, what do you mean by bait? Oh, do you mean I'll be cooking up a buffet of my famous fluffy puppy blood cakes? What? No, you idiot. You're a wanted criminal. The bounty for a fugitive is way more enticing than a stack of pancakes. And the suits themselves will happily sign up if we tell them you're all theirs if they win. They can even grill you up. I see. You make a valid point. She would make for excellent bait. No, I wouldn't! So you're saying the 13 magistrates might enter the tournament, treasures in hand, to get Perilica? All we gotta do, then, is steal the seven founding weapons during the chaos of the tournament. <laughs> and we can make a killing through participation fees and tickets, too. That's two birds with one stone! No one's allowed to get mad if I go on a shopping spree, either. Hold up. We gotta pay off my debts first. Now I had to borrow 10 million hell this month for some, uh, personal business. When did you incur such debt? <gasps> You're not a reckless spender, are you? Is this really going to work? I mean, who would be dumb enough to fall for such an obvious trap? Demons are ruled by their desires. Even if they know it's a trap, I'm sure they'll still participate. And that's how I ended up here. The 10,000 demons sneering at me. I feel like a fear in the spotlights. <laughs> you mean a deer in the headlights? Not that it matters, as long as we get hell out of this. It's funny how easy a mark demons are. With the heats over, it's time for the finals. We'll be broadcasting this live via the Netherworld Network. I'm embarrassed to say that I, too, am filled with excitement. Please permit me to break character for a moment. Do you dudes want to see the Netherworld's strongest demon? I want to see him too. I know it's dad, though. Here come the fighters for the first round of the finals. These seasoned combatants have a different look about them. On the east, we have an alluring predator who never lets her prey escape. Her dazzling pheromones make even lions purr. It's the lion killer, Yavin Yonko of Team Yavin Yonko! already. Not like a bunch of frisky felines. Still, this empathy allergy of mine makes all that sound like music to my ears. Go on, keep meowing, you dumb tomcats. Jacobus! Riling up the crowd like a true heel. The castle, it's there to be destroyed. The strongest fugitive of them all. My dad, he's the bestest around. It's Fuji's a show sign. Stop making stuff up! Mm, you're kind of young to be a father, Meow. And you're as a show sign already? <laughs> That's where the best swordsmaster in Hinomoto, Meow. Can you shut up? I'm not a dad or a show sign. She's just saying shit! You better get ready. I'll make you regret entering this tournament. In fact, You'll wish you were dead! I'm gonna do my worst! <laughs> Not yet! Fine. <laughs> 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 Not getting away! 
away. They're not getting away. It's not yet. <laughs> You're not getting away. I get. Just give it up. Purring suits you better than a victory roar. Go on now, kitty. Purr. Uh, cut it out with the cat toys, meow. Uh, 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 I can't resist. Uh, this is so embarrassing. Ha! Guess you can't come back from the shameful display. Just hurry back home with your tail between your legs. Merciless. Who'd have thought? He didn't even pull his punches against a cat babe like that. Is he gonna be okay? She's got a lot of fans. You look too far! Yeah, he's right! Apologize to Yabanyo! What's that? <laughs> you wanna turn into a sea of blood? <clears throat> yeah, that's what I thought. Just keep your mouth shut. Goodness, he sure has embraced villainy. The audience is sinking in their seats. How do you read the situation now? Hmm. That's cool, even when he's a bad guy. That's a biased comment if I ever heard one. Thank you for your insight. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while, but you've changed, Fuji. The chaotic first battle has concluded. Now for our second match. On the east, we have a duo with an unusual resume. Justice has arrived! Death to all evildoers. Meow. The Spec Ops Angel Team, led by a mysterious robot and Saber Cat duo. Gorgeous and chic? You're talking nonsense again. Meow. How cool! Your mechanical style and that robot oil smell is right up my alley. The cute robot girl's nice and all, but there's another cat fight lined up. She even ends her sentences the same. Oh, so you're saying another cat's been let out of the bag? Oh, huh. you got the same right for once. But, uh, just, no. You must be the fugitive Poochie, yes? I witnessed your last match, which ignited my desire to fight you. What the heck are you talking about? Picking a girl when she's already down? Threatening innocent audience members? My heart of justice urges me to reform you! <coughs> Justice, huh? You're acting so high and mighty, my allergies are flaring up. <coughs> whoa, whoa! What's happening? He looks really hurt! Way to go! Crush that demon! Who's bad mouthing Owl's death? Can I smash this whole place to the ground? Then it'll be nice and quiet, right? How now? Calm down, Owl! Goodness, even the other contestants are treating Fuji as a heel. Prepare yourself, for I, one who was born into justice, live justly and shall die with justice, will now serve your just desserts. In other words, she's gonna kill you, meow. Ugh, justice this, justice that, 
How about you just shut up? Forget my allergies. You want to fight so bad? I'll give you one. I'm gonna do my worst! Getting away. You're not getting away. Damn it. I managed to win, but I can't let anyone see me like this. Even among demons. I guess there really are a bunch of goody two-shoes running around. My allergies. Such a pain. Who's there? I see that the sorcery spell continues to fester in your body. What? Benny Kage? Is that you? Don't call me that. The hero who fought against the Demodor, Mugai's disciple, He's ancient history. I'm Crimson Dark now. The total victory magistrate. Demodor has bestowed the demonic spear upon me. So it wasn't only the ocean magistrate. You're one of them, too? Say what you want. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. It'd be wise to keep your wits about you. Those who don't die in battle. Thank goodness I found you here. I made some fluff cakes, so it's time to eat. Who was that just now? They had quite the ominous air. That was Crimson Dark, the total victory magistrate. We used to be disciples under the same master. He was my senior. Wow! Did you say Crimson Dark? He's an apprentice of Ultimate Swordmaster Moongai! So he's your senior, huh? Wait... He's your what?! Moongai Fatal Fighting Technique! Red Bull! Crimson Might! He sent his opponent flying in a flash! Crimson Dark has lived up to his name as the Total Victory Magistrate flawlessly! As one would expect of Mugai, the hero's best student, his overwhelming display has sent him straight to the semifinals. He's very strong. In fact, he might be the strongest we've seen yet. So that means Fuji is Crimson Dark and C Again's Junior? That explains why Fuji's so powerful. He's also Mugai's student. If he continues his winning streak, we'll see a faded battle between disciples! I'm so excited! I've got pants on my ants! Sheesh, calm down. Th that doesn't even make any sense. The ants are supposed to be in your pants. I need to calm down, too. I'm not a kid anymore. I'll be the first person you lose to, Benny Kage. And now, for the semi-finals, under the eager gaze of the audience, on the east, we have... Hey guys, I've been dying to see ya! Always front and center, she's come all the way from the Shogunate, the Song Princess Magistrate, Sakura and her guards! Sakura! Sakura? Long time 
no see ya, Yasu. What? That sparkly idol girl is a friend of yours, Yayasu? I scouted her when I was picking up chicks a while ago because she was so cute. I'm the one who said she should be an idol. But then I totally forgot about her. I really owe you one for that. I've been an idol ever since. I even worked my way up to become one of the 13 magistrates. You're one of them? Yes! I wouldn't have come this far if not for my success on the stage. I have you to thank you, Yasu. Words can't describe how grateful I am. I've wanted to repay you for so long. Repay? Hey, are you here to rescue me? You'll convince the Demodor to pardon my execution? No, I'll be your executioner. And the sweet demon, so I'll use pure malice to repay my debt. You're dead. What's sweet about that? Well, demons like us become more pure and innocent the eviler we get. I see. So I should call you pure and innocent, too. I'll serve you up a knuckle sandwich if you even think about it. Eek! I don't even have to say it. I'm innocent and sweet. Pure than pure. I'll scatter your guts around for sure. <laughs> get ready, Ayasu. Sure about this? I'm sorry. and sweet until the end, huh? <laughs> Opponent or not, she's pretty cool. S Sakura, I was the one who discovered you, and that's how you repay me? How cruel. There, there. Guess it's rough being betrayed by someone you're close to. Not that I can talk. Well, the weak disappear and the strong remain. Someone like Sakura never stood a chance. You're the guy from before! I should praise you for making it to the final match, but all you did was buy some time before your demise. What does a magistrate want with me? Why don't you pack up your fallen comrade and hurry off home? Don't try to act so tough. The battlefield isn't going anywhere. We'll end up facing off in the final match anyway. A final match? So that means... I've made it to the finals, obviously. I knew I'd end up fighting that bastard. Fuji, for some reason the Demodor greatly desires that demonic sword of yours. <laughs> the time has come to decide which is stronger. My demonic spear, Banji Tadakatsu, or your Kanzan Musashi. 
will fight to the death with our respective founding weapons. <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> I'll pay you back a jillion times over for all the humiliation I felt from losing to you! Are you okay, Fuji? You seem uncharacteristically nervous. You know you don't have to do this. If you don't want to fight your fellow disciple, the rest of us will handle it somehow. I don't need your concern. In fact, you don't know how badly I want to fight him. After Mugai lost in his challenge against Opener, I became the disciple of the worst, most sinister warrior in all of Hinomoto. That's why I won't lose to the likes of Benny Kage. Crimson Dark. I'll do my worst and win no matter what! And now, the time has finally arrived! The Ultimate Hinamoto Fighting Championships Final Match! Yeah! Allow me to introduce the two teams! They are the last ones standing out of 9,999 participants! Who will be the strongest? No need. I'm already here. What's the big idea, Fuji? How are you going to hold a competition to decide who's the strongest and leave me out? M Master Higan's a show sign? Oh, what's this? An unknown woman has suddenly burst onto the battlefield. What are you doing here, Master? I was in the mountains training when I noticed all the commotion. Didn't think I'd find a fighting tournament here. If you want to know who the strongest is, of course Higanze Shosai has to be there! Any objections? I'll kill you if you dare! Of course no one's going to object! She's so damn unreasonable! Wow! So Shosai's are the strongest swordsman in all of Hinamoto, right? I'm so honored to meet you! I've heard she's stronger than Mulgai! Who would have thought? The best swordsman in Hinomoto is a hot thing. A swordsman? But the spear you have on you is the one Crimson Dark had. Banji Tadakatsu, isn't it? A very kind young man offered it to me earlier. Said it would be perfect for me. Ah, uh, we have breaking news. Crimson Dark has just been discovered unconscious in front of the Green Room. Reports say a very sharp spear is lodged firmly in his buttocks. In many ways, it's a deeply dire situation. Benikage. I have no sympathy, but rest in peace. <sighs> Namandabu. Namandabu. <laughs> they found him already, huh? He sure made a huge scene. I just wanted a spear. So you really did steal it! Enough about him. Let's fight, Fuji. Swords were starting to get boring. I'm finally starting to get a feel for spears. I want a good fight from my best student, or else you'll get a spear on the butt next. You really don't care about the mess you're making. Master or not, I'll cut you down! I'm gonna do my worst! You're not getting away. I'll take your cash and your life! Up. Your slashes are rocking me to my core. You've gotten pretty good, Fuji. But you'd be better if you were one with your sword. Damn it. Your freak strength hasn't changed one bit. <sighs> She gets up no matter how many times she falls! What's with this, babe? 
Another army! Nobody move! You're under arrest! I repeat, you're under arrest! Who are these people? Where'd they come from? It's the Nether Army! The Shogun its suppressive force! What are they doing here? <sighs> Maybe someone from the audience tipped them off. Not only have you scumbags put together an illegal fighting tournament, but you also stole from the 13 magistrates. Don't make a scene! All stolen weapons, money earned, and other sundries will be confiscated. Quiet. Huh? Don't you dare interrupt me. When I am fighting! Master Spear? Look at that spear go. Just the sight of it makes my butt hurt. My name is Higan Zeshosai. Those who get in my way will meet death. Your asses are mine, you sniveling snakes! Not good. There's no stopping her when she's lost her temper. She'll rage until she gets something sweet to eat. Wait, sweets will stop her? What the heck? That's cute and all, but raging is the opposite of cute. <laughs> that looks like fun. It's so boring just sitting here. I was gonna go out there too. The tournament has descended into chaos. We shall conclude the broadcast here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Enough! I want to fight more! Someone, fight me! I don't care who! Huh? Target acquired. No! My boss is a real mate! Perico, now! Do it! Here! Ta-da! My famous Fluffy Puppy Fluffy! You put pancakes in your backpack. Whatever, just do it. That taste sure takes me back. Who made these disgustingly sweet pancakes? That would be me. Hmm. I see. You remind me of... <laughs> no wonder Fuji sticks so close to you. Huh? Who do I remind you of? Okay, I've made up my mind. Out of consideration for this young lady, I'll join your party. Rejoice! What? <laughs> Look, Master, I appreciate the thought, but having you around makes me anxious. I didn't ask for this unwanted favor. If you don't want me along, just say so. I'll kill you if you do, though. Oh! No objections here. Hinomoto's evilest swordsman, Higan Zeshosai, has returned to center stage. Her ambition is to achieve world peace. That's the biggest lie I've ever heard. Higan's pledge number one. No tolerance toward doubting others. Fuji, since you broke the pledge, you must now submit to seppuku! Oh my god! Fuji! That's too far, Higan! Higan's pledge number two. Everyone must always be in obeisance to Higan. Obeisance? What does that mean? Here's my dictionary. It means, if you go against me, your punishment will be seppuku. I see. That was easy enough to under... Ugh. Not good. She'll cut us up no matter what we say. I better keep my mouth shut. Egon's pledge number three. Don't ever outshine or upstage me. I'm too late for that. Ah! I regret the... Ah! My comrades fall one after another. Will Higan be able to see her ambitions through?
Next time on Roroni Zeshosai, final episode, The Massacre. The battle will end if I kill everyone. That's way too much like a villain. What's up? Why are we having an emergency meeting? Are we celebrating the tournament? That's not it! I've called you all here today because I have some very grave news. We're out of money. Is that all? You made it sound like it was a big deal. Fuji being out of money is just business as usual. You made me think the world was ending! Don't scare me over something like this! So what if we're a little short on cash? Uh, it's not a little. Our living expenses are dry. Gone. We're dead broke. I've just checked, and the account balance for our living expenses is down to a mere 50 hell. 50 hell? Forget the founding weapons. That's not even worth one sardine. Normally, I could afford a planet, but my nether card is maxed out at the moment. I'll go bankrupt at this rate. I won't be able to pay Fuji's fee either. Hey, hold up, Perilica. I thought you were rolling in dough. How can you almost be bankrupt? I bet it's all Hegon's fault. She buys piles and piles of sweets every single day. Staying in peak shape means I have to eat a lot. Sweets are a necessary expense. So what if it's a few hundred million hell? That's way over budget, glutton master. <sighs> but it's not just because of her. UP's favorite kitty delivery, meow. Ooh, my new game's here. I got three copies, one for playing, one for backup, and one for spreading the hype. We're broke because you waste so much money, Shogun Stupid. You're the reason why the nether ship is full of cardboard boxes. <laughs> I'm a gamer, okay? I have to buy the games I want as soon as they drop. You spend more than an entire planet. <sighs> You've really got to do something about all these boxes first, huh? Hey, here's an idea. This flyer was in one of the boxes. It says, Hinomoto Casino Grand Reopening. in Casino Moto, a gambler's paradise run by the Shogunate. Ha! Huh, that's the perfect chance to make some cash. Okay, next stop, Casino Moto. Episode 5. Something harder to see than the future. <laughs>